Hello everybody, this is Danny and Wanda from Deep South Homestead. We have been sitting around talking uh, this afternoon uh, about something that's uh, kind of dear to our heart and we thought maybe we'd share that with y'all. Yeah, just a little Danny and Wanda Danny chat. Danny and Wanda chat, something we hadn't done for a long time. Yeah. Since we started doing the live streams, we cut Danny and Wanda chat out and we... And a lot of people liked them. A lot them. of people liked them, so we figured... You know, why not do one right now? And what we want to talk about, let me just get comfortable, is... Uh, you want to get comfortable. Yeah, we just get comfortable. <laughs> I mean, that's, I've, it's been a long day. So oh, yeah, for both of us. So we're just going to get comfortable. Uh, but the question has been thrown up and we've been asked, you know, many, many times. I mean, God, I can't even... I don't even know how many times we've been asked this question. <laughs> why do you live the lifestyle that you live because mm -hmm. guys we live a different lifestyle than most people do and I, I'm, I would I have neighbors that uh, that say <laughs> we live the different live a different lifestyle than anything they've ever seen yeah you know? and most people don't get it I mean people come to visit and while they're here they eat what we eat they live like we live and they're just not used to the way we do things because we yeah, are different. We're different. Uh, we uh, we don't go grocery shopping uh, for traditional foods. Uh, yeah. If we don't raise it and we can't make it, we do we, shop. We do shop for things like right now and with this a is month maybe used to. We just went to the grocery store once a month. Yeah. Now uh, it's like every few every. I'd say every two weeks. Yeah, but it's only to pick up two or three items. It's not like we go shopping. But they're items that right now we don't have the capacity to create. Yeah, and usually I'm not out of them. It's simply that I need to replenish some because we usually keep a good store. Yeah. Um, of things. So. I mean, you know, I'll give you for instance, it salt. Right now, sugar. Coffee. Coffee, maybe some sugar. Um, flour. Uh, well, I well, order almond flour We online. order almond flour online. We so can't buy it locally. I buy that uh, like every six months. Well, we get, a, we get buy it in bulk. And so I don't have to worry about flour We don't have to worry months. about that. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to think of some stuff. Maybe uh, until our goats start milking. Yeah. You know, butter, mm -hmm. cheese, uh we buy the almond milk right now. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're... I mean, that's basically... We may pick up some dishwashing liquid. Yeah. Uh, some Things stuff to make, to make detergent. homemade detergent with. And when we buy this stuff, we buy it in bulk. And we don't have to go back again yeah. for six months or more. You know, so it's, it's a different lifestyle. We don't go buy... We do not... Let me iterate. Do not <laughs> buy soft drinks. Once yeah. every now and then. Once every I now and then, Wanda will get a happy and get her a Sprite. And I did get Sprites so that I would have the bottles to for milk, the girls. For, for the girls, because we needed and some 20 ounce bottles for our baby goats. And Wanda goes, Oh Sprite. my God, I get to get Sprites, you know. And I got a six pack. I've drank three, three, we have three bottles. Out and of, three are in the cabinet. In how long a period of time? Well, like two weeks, three weeks? Oh, that was, yeah, two to three weeks ago. Yeah, just three yeah. Sprites in like three weeks. And, yeah. uh, but that's, it's about living a disciplined lifestyle. Now we, And I'm not disciplined, y'all. And she's... I'm really not. Really not, not disciplined. <laughs> I am better at she's it She's better than she to. used to be. <laughs> you know, she still got her chocolates and her candy corns and stuff like that. But I know? don't and eat them that often. Flavored coffee and, you know, the stuff that's gone... I put honey in my coffee now. Well, stuff is... Till I run out. And then it's cane syrup. Then it's, well, she's using cane syrup yeah. now. I'll give her credit for that. So but, we're but, using what we have, and why do we do this lifestyle? Why do we? Why are we doing it this well, way? Well, let me. No money. First, no, no, <laughs> just, just joking. I know it has nothing to do with with money. I mean, it's no. uh, um, but let's just be realistic here. Um, one and I have probably I don't even know what she's going to say, but. Uh, we probably have different reasons for why we do what we do here on our homestead. Uh, me personally, mm -hmm. I love clean eating. Mm -hmm. I hate chemicals. Um, 
I love to work the ground. Mm -hmm. I love to watch nature grow. Um, I, I, that, that's just who I am. I've always been that way. I used to, I can remember as a young man, uh, it happened to me many times before I actually realized what was going on. The first time it ever happened, I was at church and I was watching uh, a farmer who had gotten down and he had hundreds of acres of wheat that needed to be harvested and all the other farmers in the community kicked in and brought their equipment and they harvested his wheat for him. And I sit there and I've never, I don't never cry. And tears started coming in the corner of my eyes. And I thought, I said, oh my God, what's wrong with me? Why am I crying? I've never cried. And as I sat there, tears run down my face and I, and I thought that was so unusual. And this happened to me two or three other times in my life. And I come to the realization that it was God speaking to me about my love for growing things in the earth and the land and my love for the land. And then once Wanda done my genealogy and I realized that I'm predominantly uh, Native American, then I come to the realization I understood why I had such a love for the land. And that's why I continue to do what I do and live this lifestyle. I don't want, but I mean, there is one other thing. And then I, then I let her talk. The Bible says, come out from among them and be ye separate. Mm -hmm. And I take that to heart. I don't want to be like the rest of the world. Like I was at the doctor's office here a while back. And the doctor says, oh, you're perfectly normal. I says, oh my God, I don't want to be normal. <laughs> I said, normal people are sick. <laughs> you know? And so I look at it, I look at life that way. Uh, I, I take to heart. The Bible said, come out from among them and be separate. I want to live a separate lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And I have to have this kind of lifestyle. Even me sitting in this video right here, right now, if you look at me, my right shoulder is lower than my left shoulder is. When I was involved in such a horrendous accident, they had to put my shoulders back in my body and put me back together. And when they refurbished, refurbished my body or whatever you want to call it, put me back together like the $6 million man or whatever, they pinned and screwed me all back up. Uh, my right shoulder is an inch lower than my left shoulder. And as a result, I have physical issues. And because of these physical issues, I live this lifestyle. So, fire away. <laughs> I was waiting. He said that five minutes ago. Um, no, I, well, I've always liked plants. I studied herbs some 25, 30 years ago. I guess it was over, no, it was a longer than that. Over 32 years ago, yeah, I started studying herbs. Yeah, age now. Yeah. And uh, I like plants. I, I've always taken pictures of plants. That That was just my thing. I have billions of pictures of plants, probably. Um, I just like to eat healthy. I like to eat junk too. I just like to eat. Maybe yeah. that's a better thing that's to true. say. <laughs> but I do like to eat as well as I can, but I like to have my little samples of other stuff. Mm -hmm. Let's put it that way. Yeah. So I'm not 100% chemical free like Danny is. And he's not 100, but, he, I'm not but he's probably yeah, but 90. I'm, I'm probably 95. And we get climbing. chemicals in the air, and we get yeah. that. There are chemicals I get, in I the air. I get it. Yeah, there's chemtrails. Uh, there's chemicals probably in the soil. There's maybe chemicals in our water, but we do have a well. So we can't control that other than a Berkey or something like that. Yeah, we could do that. But, but our water's clean. I've had it tested. But for the most part, we do healthy living as much as possible. Yeah. Um, we're outside a good bit. Um, we just watch nature. Danny and I both love just watching nature. That's, yeah. that's just a strange thing to a lot of people, but I like to go outside. I like to look up at the sky. I like to see what's going on. I love to watch the trees and when the wind's blowing, I like to watch the flowers pop out on 
bushes and right now it's about the prettiest time of the year it's for beautiful us. beautiful right now the vibrant um, greens and the the pinks, the pinks and the whites, and the whites and flowers purples and, and purples and we've got things on the apple tree we've got blooms on the apple trees blooms on the pear pe trees pear we've trees, got peach figs trees. that are about this big on grandma's big we've got uh peaches already that's yeah. as big as your thumbnails we've I mean. got huckleberries galore they're everywhere yeah um so right now is the most beautiful time to visit deep south homestead i'm just you know i love it um not to say other seasons don't have their own no every, every season has its thing yeah and there's always you can walk around our place Right now, I can eat asparagus. I can walk oh, I out noticed. and yeah, eat asparagus. Out. Yeah, it's coming up. Yeah, coming up good. So almost all twelve months, we have something, something outside that you can eat. I can eat lettuce right That's now. That's called permaculture. Yes. Right now, I have lettuce. Oh, I know it's beautiful um, too. So I've got things we can eat. Uh, we've got collards. We've got greens, uh, mustard greens, and things that we can be eating. Onions and. Yeah, onions and garlic and things yeah, all like that. that stuff, so yeah. there's something that we could be eating. We wouldn't starve right now if if we uh, that's all we had. But that's why we live this life. Yeah, is so that we can go out and eat something something 365 days a year. Mm -hmm. Now, if we went to a public job, this lifestyle would be very difficult to live. I mean, we have chickens, we have turkeys, we have rabbits, we have goats. We have pigs. I mean, we have... And we have... Out of those, we have... The goats are not very old. They're still babies. Yeah. The rabbit just had babies. And we bought baby chicks. Right. So we're running a nursery right now. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're nursery keepers right <laughs> and now. it's hard for us to leave on our top, homestead. On top of our other chores. Yeah. And plus, Brian's helping... Him. Brian. Danny is helping our neighbor, Brian. So... You know, there's all types of things going. Plus, we're keeping a YouTube channel going. We're yeah. selling things on Etsy. Um, we we established this lifestyle over the last two years, and it's been a good, good it's way. It's a good life. It's a good life. It's a good life. And I realize everybody can't live this life. And we're not mm -hmm. talking down to anyone if they can't live this life. Yeah, it's just the only... sometimes a struggle for a lot of people because you have to give up. Like when I came from town... Yeah, she was. She came out of the sea. I was used to stopping by and getting a a, a dollar frappe burger or a frappe or, or a dollar burger. Dollar burgers, um, pizza. You know, I was used to that. I just whip in, get what I wanted, head to my apartment. I'm good. Coming out here, we ate out the first time I came out. We went yeah, got we went and got Mexican. Mexican. We probably did not eat out again for. Two or three months, maybe even longer than that. Probably but I know than that. at least three months or better. Yeah. Uh, over five years, I doubt if we've eaten out five times. I doubt it. We probably ate more at the Last conference year. in Tennessee than we, on our way up there and on our back. way back. And at the conference, people brought us food. Uh, that's probably the most uh, outside food we've had. Yeah. Uh, we have been to family get-togethers and eat there. Uh, but that's usually maybe, what, twice a year? Yeah, and I usually don't get to eat much when I go I there. I take most of his food. She takes my food when um, we go. So it's a very, very limited lifestyle. It's we, a disciplined lifestyle. Yeah. It's very disciplined, uh, very strict, uh, very, I mean, I don't know the real word to use because most people... They're in and out of Walmart on a daily basis. Uh, they're in and out of some grocery store, some department store, some dollar store. They're yeah. in town, uh, on the road, on a daily basis. And, and guys, we our gas bill, I mean, this is going to freak some people out. Our gas bill is about 40 bucks a month in a quad cab. If that, sometimes. If that, in a quad cab, four-wheel drive, big Ford truck. Yeah. If that we, tells you anything, that gets 10 miles to the gallon. Sometimes it's only $20 a month because sometimes we don't go. Sometimes it's just 20 go. bucks a month. We don't, we just, we just don't go nowhere. Yeah. But is it a way of life that most people can live? You can. It's just a little tougher, but it's a way of life that I've 
I love because we get up in the morning. If we have to make a trip to town, we go early, get we're, our stuff done, and come back. We're, we're in town and, and back home by... 10 o'clock. No later than 10 o'clock, yeah. usually. Because we try to hit the places that open at 8, we hit them at 8. The ones that open at 8.30, we hit them by then. The ones at 9. If something has to be done at a place that opens at 10... Well, we just don't like waiting that long. I just don't wait that but long. But we have had to. You, you learn time. in certain towns. I've, I'm very observant uh, as to when a town wakes up. Um, and my, the town where we live at is 6.30 and 10 o'clock. 6.30, <laughs> in the morning, the streets are covered. 10 o'clock in the morning, the streets are covered. We try to be in between those times. Yeah. So we get into town and back, get what we need. And when we shop, it's with the list. And we hardly ever just browse shop. We don't browse. We did that once here a while back, and, and the prices just like to freak us like out. And I'm like, oh, okay, never mind. We got we got uh, seven items in a one little bag, and we got to notice that everything in the store at Walmart was $5. So seven items was $35. $35. In one little plastic bag, I told her, I says, <laughs> no, we cannot keep doing this. It's said, crazy. We don't make that kind of money. I told her, I said, no. But don't yeah. even look down. And people will hear me talking in Walmart. Because <laughs> someone will look down an aisle, I'll tell her, turn her head. Don't even look down that aisle. Yeah, we, we joke and laugh about yeah. this stuff. But it's a lifestyle we enjoy. We, yeah. we love the peace and quiet, except for the barking dogs. Except dog. for the barking dogs our neighbor has uh, that we're going to have to come up with a, uh, something to do about. But uh -huh. anyway, we, for the most part, it's peaceful. It's quiet. Yeah. We enjoy that. We enjoy working together. Yes, that's another uh, big issue there. We work well we work, together. We work together on a lot. Now, he's, yeah. he's got to where he does a lot of his projects by himself. But if he needs help, I'm here. Yeah. If I need help, he's here. Yeah. And we love just hanging out together when we... You know that's that's the deal. A lot uh, yeah, a lot of like people can't get along with much. their spouses. They go, well, "I gotta have my space." Well, guys, look, she is part of my space, and I never get tired of her. And you know, if we if I have something I want to do, he knows if I'm gung ho into something, he looks at me and goes, "I'm going to the shop." I'm going to the shop. He knows if I'm in yeah. my mood to she, clean or I'm in my mood to cook. He just needs to walk away. I just walk slowly. away. I mean, you know, I mean, go do what I need to do because I mean, you, we don't want to create argument between one another. Yeah. And we do not argue. No. And um, if he's working on something, I know not to mess with him, to let him deal. And if he needs my help, he helps. I hand him things. Yeah. We're we're just we've learned each other's personalities and habits. And things like that. And by being together 24-7 for five years. That's basically been Well, it. except we for 14 days the first year. Yeah, but, but I mean, you never see one of us without the other one, hardly. Very If simple. we ever go to town, unless I go with somebody else, uh, yeah. we do not go to town by ourselves. Um, we I've go been to, a few times, but... But we mainly, I mean, almost, I'd say 99.9% .9 yeah. of the time, we are together. Yeah. Um, because I don't want my wife on the road with me not with her. If yeah, something happens... Yeah, it's not too bad here compared to big cities. Right. But, you know, we watch out for each other. When he yeah. drives, there's times he has issues, so I drive. Yeah. So... It, we take turns. We learn what we can and can't do. Um, well, one of the main reasons is the, the Bible says to guard thine heart with all diligence, for out of it proceeds the issues of life. And your wife is your heart. If you actually do the scriptural studies on that, the wife is the heart of everything. She, out of her, proceeds the issue of life. In other words, she brings life into the world. And he says to guard that. And guys... Uh, it's our responsibility to do that. I mean, Adam screwed up in the garden. He didn't guard his wife, and look what happened. You know, I said, I want, I want to be there with my wife. Wherever she's at, I want to be there because it's my job. Yeah, and, and a lot of people, you know, we like this lifestyle. That's yeah. just what we do. We have been working on projects. We have building projects. Um, 
We have gardening projects. Gardening project, animal projects. And, and the animals. Yeah. Uh, if there's butchering to be done. We both do it. I'm not good at the actual killing part. Right. I don't do that real well. But I'll help with the other parts. And he knows not to say, hey, look, you got to do. Right. We've learned to work with each other's insecurities, I guess yeah. you would say. I don't know if you call it insecurity, but... Well, it's something. Yeah. I just... Lack I, of abilities to do certain things. Yeah. Uh, my nature... You know your boundaries, because I talked about boundaries in yeah. one of my videos. And it's knowing our boundaries. And once you learn your boundaries, mm -hmm. uh, you never push a person beyond those boundaries. Because if you do, then you put them in unfamiliar territory that usually will... Break a relationship. Break a relationship. Yeah. And, and guys, look, why do we do, why do we live this lifestyle? We love it. That's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. <laughs> we love it. Uh, we love each other and we love the life that we live. Now, I, I know everybody can't live this lifestyle because they have debt. And that's one reason yeah. on our YouTube channels we tell people, do not get yourself deep in debt. You know, if you owe for something that's going to take you to 55 or 60 years old and you're in your 20s to pay for it, get out from under it. Sell it and go get you something that you can pay for in 10 years maybe. You know, uh, 15 at the most. Never make a house payment, a house loan over 15 years. You know what I mean? These are just wise things. Mm -hmm. You know, I've never... I financed a house one time for 25 years, and after five years of paying on it, I was like, oh, my God, what kind of idiot are you? You know, and I sold that joker right then. I sold the whole farm just to get out from under it. And I went and bought more land and started a house myself. Wasn't nothing big and fancy, but I could add on to it, and that's exactly what I did. And, and ever since then, I've lived this kind of lifestyle. I tell people... You don't have to have big and fancy right up front. You ain't going to have everything mom and daddy or grandma and grandpa had overnight. It takes they, time. They did not have instant gratification. They had delayed gratification. Mm -hmm. and, and that's a that's big issue we're today. At too. There's things we would love to do. We would sure. love to have the RV finished. We'd love to have, have the, the cabin, cabin finished. We'd and love this room finished. But we're working on these projects a little alone. As we get money. Yeah, and it's something that down the road will get done. If it don't? If it don't, it's not hurting anybody. When we leave this world, we're not taking it with us. So it's something we like doing. It's projects he likes to tinker with. Yeah. So our biggest thing now in this lifestyle is to keep our food and our animals for food. And, you know, if we keep those things going, it's a good thing. Yeah. Everything else, keep a house around us. You know, a roof over, a look, roof. If, you, if, you, if, you keep, if you've got a roof over your head, and food clothes food. on your back, and food on your table, that's all God promised you. And so we have those things. And everything else is a bonus. Everything's a bonus after that. You know, yes. and we enjoy that. And so why do we do this? We love it. Not everybody can live this lifestyle like we do. But right. you live it like you do. You live it the way you can live it and enjoy it. Yeah. Just enjoy it. The lifestyle that you yeah. choose. That's yeah. what I would say. It is. I would tell people, do what you do because you love to yeah. do it. If this because is too of much of love. a burden, if this is a burden for you to live like we live, then don't do it. Exactly. That that would be a good yeah. thing. If, if you can't live like we do, don't put yourself in that position and say, and say well, if I'm going to homestead, I've got to do cows and I've got to do chickens and I've got to do goats, but I just hate goats. You know, I didn't like goats. She didn't like them to start with. I told him we weren't getting goats. Now I have three babies that I adore, but it took five years for me to work up to that point that I even would consider getting goats. Uh, to start with, I told him I wouldn't touch the animals. That's his business. He got 12 chickens and guess who takes care of them? Yeah. It would be you. And so I had to work into it. I wasn't an animal person. So if you're not an animal person, don't jump out and get a whole bunch of animals and then hate every moment of it. Yeah. Do the things you like. If you like cannon, do the cannon. If you like gardening, do the gardening. Do the gardening. If you like sitting in the house under the air conditioner playing on the computer, then do that. If that's what you, you love know? to do, do it. But realize 
if something happens, you won't be sustained. You won't be eating. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, that's our, our thing. If you do what you like to do. Do what you want to do. And the way your you homestead is your homestead. Our homestead is our homestead. Yeah. And we do it because we like it. That's it. That's the bottom line. We do what we do. We live the life we live because we love the life we live. Thank That's you, it, guys. guys. Thank you from Deep South Homestead.